Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, whatever place it is, you're tuned on to the Life Signatures Radio. This is a daily show focused on the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. Listen, we're going strong and we are nearing a milestone. In the next few months, we will be hitting 2,000 plus episodes on this show. I have no idea what I'm going to do when we get there, but you stay tuned to this. This show, like I've said, it focuses on three things, purpose, productivity, and resilience. It's a teaching, motivating, inspirational podcast. If you're looking for inspiration and motivation and teaching on those three subjects and any other constituent subjects on those things of personal development, this is where you come to find it on a daily basis, 10 to 15 minutes. If I go past that, very few occasions will go past 15 minutes, but it is between 10 to 15 minutes of your time in a day, a dose of inspiration and a dose of motivation today we are going to continue talking about what we started talking about spirit and we are zeroing in on the six signs that the spirit within your organization is awesome we've already done four let's look at the fifth today stay tuned <laughs> Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. start with a recap here let us see where we've come from so that we can know where we're going number one if you wanted to find out is the spirit in my organization awesome how healthy are matters related to the spirit to what matters to us to our cause to our vision to our purpose to our reason for existence as an organization what are the signs that that is happening that that is you know sizzling it's going on number one we say that there is no need for carrots and sticks people work because they want to work. Let me ask you this question. Can you think of an organization where this is happening? Well, you need to be paid to work, yes, but that's not why you work. Can you think of that? See, I, I can stop here and I can do another series just on that particular premise. Starting with, who was the first guy to be rendered jobless? Who was the first guy that they said was jobless? And what was the context under which they said he was jobless? You, f- you find that matters related to the spirit are, can, can be unpacked in that particular scenario. But I, I don't want to go there. The thing is that an awesome organization where the spirit is vibrant, you don't need people to have packs so that they can work. You don't need people to have punishment so that they can be able to work. They are self motivated and these are some of the things that you see people t- telling you in interviews i am self-motivated i'm self-driven and all that stuff right i don't think someone can tell you that they are self-driven and they're self-motivated if they are not connected to matters related to the spirit so if someone comes to the interview today they have never worked for your organization and they tell you they're self-motivated i will doubt that because self-motivation is not unattached It is not unhinged. It is connected to the matter. It is connected to the spirit. It is connected to what matters to that particular spirit, that particular organization. It's connected to what matters to the purpose of that particular organization. Anyway, number two, there is no commoditization. In other words, people are working as if it's a cause. They are on a mission. They are not there to get uh, salary, at the end of the month, they're not there for sundown and payday. 
they are working because it's a mission they are on a course number three there is a great sense of belonging people want to continue being there you know they they feel they sense it's like a family it's like the way they 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 identify with the cause the organization they are proud to be working there not because of the outside things like you know the colors the, the grand design of the organization the ambience no they are there because of the spirit they are there because the, of the impact the change the contribution the the transformation the the innovation the problems that they are solving that's why they are they are feeling a sense of belonging number 4 there is we talked about this there is organic growth Yesterday, we talked about this. Please go back to that episode yesterday and check it out. We talked about organic growth. It goes without saying that when there is organic growth, I mean where there is a vibrant spirit, the life of the spirit is vibrant, growth is an automatic. It's, a, it's an afterthought. It's a byproduct. Okay. Now, listen. Let's go to number five. How do you know that the vibrancy of an organization is awesome? Number five, there is care for one another. Let me tell you, there are very many dynamics that go on in organizations. There are individual dynamics. There are people, you know, two people within a particular group that can be close to each other and not close to the, the rest of the group. But you know things are going on well when someone doesn't show up and it's a crisis not a crisis because things cannot move on but a crisis because everyone is concerned what is wrong what why is why isn't she here she's supposed to be here not because they are they, they, they are feeling the, the the heaviness or the pinch of the workload because someone is missing no but because there's this already sense of belonging and this they're connected to the spirit of the organization and they know that, that person is connected to the spirit of the organization so they're thinking she should be here i'm not talking about that uh, uh what do they call it that that thing that that sign that people normally used to have you should be here by uh, dream trips i don't know if you remember dream trips that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about people just taking care of one another where the spirit of the organization is alive and well, you will see a great spirit. It's like it's a spirit of family. You know, it, it, it's it's past the titles, it's past the job titles, it's past the tasks. It's like a, a family that is united on a common cause. People, by the way, have found greater families at work than at home. Why? Because of matters related to the spirit. People genuinely care for one another. They care for each other on matters outside of work, such as they will do for a family member. And they do this automatically. It's not mechanical. It is not rehearsed. It is not pretense. They don't try too hard. It's automatic because whenever there is a great spirit in the organization, it causes people to think about humanity more than they do think about, you know, uh, other tasks and targets and, and all these things. The vibrancy in the organization is something that you can really envy when you see this care for one another at work. So I'm going to ask you a question. Can you remember if you've been working for years on end now? Can you remember an organization that exuded this? Is your organization showing this? If the organization is not sh showing this at all, it doesn't mean that you go, you guys are going to die or something, but you, you're you going to survive, yes. Many organizations have survived even without this, but it is not the happiest of things. It's like the signs we showed you in the previous mini-series. If the spirit is not there, people are going to leave and others are going to come. There's a lot of attrition, just go coming and going, coming and going. But when there is a spirit of belonging and they care for one another, the vibrance in the organization is something that can be envied. And the same cannot be said when the focus on the organization is not spirit-filled and, and spirit-led. That's the way it is. So if you wanted to know, it is awesome. We are awesome. Look at how people care for one another. Look at how they care for one another when they f others fall behind their targets or their tasks. Or something happens to them outside of work. Look at that. 
it tells you something. The only thing that can unite people to that extent is when they are connected to the spirit of the organization. Tomorrow we will continue. In fact, we'll bring this uh, mini series in the in the larger series to a close when we will be talking about the last part, the last sign that the spirit in the organization is awesome. Until then, bye bye. <laughs>